this place called Soho Plant and Garden because we need a new plant. Our Japanese money tree died, unfortunately, just because we didn't water it enough. And I have like this empty pot with all this soil. So it's about time that I actually go get another plant. Well, now I just need to take this plant and transfer it from the plastic potter to this nicer like ceramic potter. All right. So we don't have the proper gardening tools to get the plant out of the uh, plastic. All right, so just got to the co-working space after coming from the coffee shop at the co-working space. I wanna start taking advantage of our amenities more. We do have to walk to this specific building to utilize this amenity and the rooftop because for some reason, our building just doesn't have the best gym and it doesn't have like this open concept co-working space. There's also this like rooftop up here that our apartment has as well that for some reason we don't utilize. But this one's really nice because you can kind of do like some indoor outdoor type of action where you can like maybe watch the game, have some friends over, maybe have some drinks over in the courtyard. They got the tanning beds out there. Before we continue this video, let's take a moment to hear from today's sponsor, Lenovo, and their three-in-one, yes, I said three, Idea Pad Duet 3i PC. It's a laptop, tablet, and you can make phone calls with this PC. For tablet mode, you simply detach the keyboard from the tablet. This PC does use Bluetooth, so you can control the tablet remotely using a Bluetooth keyboard. The kickstand supports tablet and laptop mode, which provides multi-viewing options. I utilize this all the time. I was honestly impressed with how secure the keyboard is when attached to the PC in tablet mode. I wouldn't try this at home, but I did a little shake test and it didn't waver at all. The performance and portability really makes this device versatile. It's equipped with an LTE chip and Verizon cellular connectivity, so it works with a SIM card so you can go outside and enjoy some fresh air while getting work done. The Lenovo IdeaPad Duet 3i comes with a one-year subscription of Microsoft 365 Personal, which includes Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. If you're someone like myself who lives in a big city and finds yourself on the go a lot, and you're looking for a smaller complimentary laptop to your larger laptop when you wanna pack light, this could be a great option for you. Thank you to Lenovo for sponsoring this video and sending over this device. It was actually a lot of fun to utilize, especially when I went out to the city and was trying to be productive while also enjoying the outdoors. Be sure to check this link in the description box. And once again, thank you to Lenovo for sponsoring this video. All right, so I decided to actually go into the city today. Might be able to link up with one of my friends from Ohio. But for now, I'm just having like a solo New York trip. I'm gonna hit up a couple vintage shops. I think I'm gonna pick up this new vlogging camera just because lugging around this massive camera is not the easiest thing in the world. And then I'll probably like grab some dinner at a restaurant I've never been before. I'm also thinking about going to Brooklyn and checking out Greenpoint, which is a neighborhood we're thinking about moving to in a few months and just getting some nice scenic views of New York and just enjoying this nice weather. It just looks really scenic today because it just got done raining and the best aesthetic is post rain in New York and really anywhere on the East Coast, Midwest, in my opinion. And I'm actually on my way to this vintage place called Tokyo 7. I also feel like I haven't vlogged around this many people in a while, which is a little bit weird, but I just have to get used to it.
just switched cameras to the Sony ZV-1 and this camera is incredible. Like Sony, y'all did y'all thing with this. Like back when I was looking for cameras like this a couple years ago, there was an RX100, but it's really expensive. But the depth of feel and the zoom and the color is like perfect. I don't even know when I would bring my A7S3 out here. It is so hot out here. I had to switch into a lighter color shirt, but this is the fourth week of me being a creator or working as if I'm just a creator. So right now I'm in between jobs and I'm not going to lie. I'm actually really loving it. This past four weeks, I haven't really felt like I've been on vacation because a lot of my campaigns needed to be completed the first two weeks. Looking back at my last like three jobs, I definitely think I experienced some sort of burnout as a programmer. Felt like I was spreading myself too thin by trying to be this incredible developer, front end developer, but also having, you know, a platform where I make content. It's really hard to balance the two unless you really just only do those two things. And that's not what I do. That's not how I enjoy spending my time just programming or just making content. So I definitely experienced some burnout there. I mean, you also have to include the four years of computer science where we program pretty much every day as well. That was very strenuous and mentally exhausting. And then going right into a difficult programming job, a full stack developer. So I definitely want to deploy my website though. That's the only goal I have during this break is I need to deploy my new website, jossielandjay.com, going from Squarespace to a React app that I already built. I do have to be honest, a part of me is anxious about missing being like a front end software engineer, which is something I've been really passionate about and have really enjoyed for like many, many years now since I was like 19. So yeah, the past like seven years, I've just absolutely loved front end web development, taking designing, taking designs and turning them into code, building responsive, engaging, intuitive um, applications. It's definitely something I'm very passionate about doing it like in freelance, but not really freelance for other people, but for myself, like pet projects. I think I'll enjoy it more because there'll be less pressure to build things for someone. I'll be able to focus on actually building what I enjoy but I am a little anxious about that. And I still am not 100% sure uh, what I would wanna do like the next 10 years for my corporate like life. But I guess that's probably normal in your 20s. Thank you all for watching this video. Thank you all for staying all the way to the end. If you're all the way at the end, I greatly appreciate that. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment down below. Like I said, I love engaging with you all. Thank you so much for all the support in the previous video i feel so grateful and i'm just so happy to see that you all enjoyed that video <laughs> once again thank you to lenovo for sponsoring this video and as always have a blessed rest of your week i'll see you all soon peace